Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy, and today I'm very excited to share with you this furniture transformation. I'm going to take this filthy old desk and turn it into this gorgeous new desk. So let's flip it. I use Crud Cutter to clean this piece. I quickly realized how dirty this desk actually is. It's a lot dirtier and smellier than I thought. So I'm gonna remove all the hardware, remove the drawers, and do a thorough cleaning. I always put all my hardware and screws in a bag so I don't lose any pieces. The smell is so bad that I actually end up taking my desk back outside and using Zinzer's shellac to spray it down. I spray the underneath, the sides, the inside of the drawers, the, I flip the desk upside down and spray that. The shellac will actually lock in the odors so that it won't smell anymore. The only place I didn't spray was where I would be painting. After about two and a half hours of cleaning, I use my water mister and I spray everything down and rinse it all with water so I don't leave residue. Now I use my Dixie Belle Boss Primer and I mix it up really well so the sediment isn't sitting on the bottom. I use this to block the odor, tannins, and stains, but especially, especially the odor. I use three coats of this. I got really lucky with the top of this desk. I just cleaned it really, really well and it came out perfect, so I'm not going to paint over the top. I'm going to leave it white. Now I apply my first coat of paint, and I'm using Dixie Belle's The Gulf. It's the closest thing I can find to a Tiffany blue, and that's the look I'm going for. Notice I'm still spraying my water mister before I apply my paint. I love to do this because I feel like it goes on like butter. It just makes it smooth and even and no brush strokes. I applied a total of two coats on this desk. Now to add some finishing touches, I'm going to add furniture transfers. This one is Lush Floral 2. They come in a tube and they come with this little stick. I get them on Etsy, you can get it on Amazon. You can just Google furniture transfers. These are from Redesign with Prima. I use a lot of them on my furniture.
you have to be really careful when you're applying a transfer so you don't rip it. It's almost like one of those little temporary body tattoos. That's kind of what it feels like. So if you're too rough, it'll definitely rip. And you want to make sure that there's no air bubbles. So I go back with the backing paper and I just make sure I'm rubbing it on. They call this process burnishing. There's a little halo that gets left on the transfer on the furniture. So I take my sanding sponge and I go back and forth. And it also helps to get the bubbles out. Now this furniture transfer is called Overflowing Love. I absolutely love this one. I had some pieces left over from another project. Um, it's the beauty of furniture transfers. You can buy one for, you know, 30 to $50, but you can get maybe even you know one to four projects out of it so if you flip furniture for money like i do these transfers are definitely worth it they give your piece just that extra wow factor It's a little trickier to apply furniture transfer when the surface isn't completely flat, but you just do your best and go with it. I know a lot of people get really upset when they lose a little piece or something, but you can always just, you know, add a little paint or call it shabby chic. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to look beautiful. Here I'm just using my fingernail where the drawer opens on the edges. Um, you could use your fingernail or you could use a little razor blade. I just did what was easy at the moment. So here's an example of something that was personally bothering me. That little pink piece was missing. I'm not worried about the green piece missing, but the pink one, that was bothering me. And I just want to show you how truly easy it is to fix. This is tea rose. It's not the exact color, but it's really close. So close that really you just wouldn't even know it was paint and not the actual transfer. Now I use my water-based polyurethane to seal the entire piece. Everywhere that I painted, even on top of my transfers, I'm going to seal. And I do two coats of this. Since the color of the desk and the transfer is so soft, they're really soft colors, I wanted to give it an extra bold pop so I used gold and the gloss just to make sure it was almost like sparkling gold. I think it would be the perfect balance. 